All right, let's get back to our story on a chaotic first day of school for students in Richmond. Just weeks ago, John Ramos told us how Steege Elementary was shut down over major problems with the building. Well, today, John went back for the first day at the new campus and learned it could be years before students are able to return. For the displaced students from Steege Elementary, this was the first day at their new location. And judging by the reaction of some parents, it wasn't exactly the happy back to school experience they were hoping for. The sign outside Steege Elementary says they are temporarily relocating to a new location on the backside of Lavagna Dijon Middle School. But on this first day of classes, it didn't make a great first impression. It was chaos. They weren't organized at all. No parents are happy about it. They're really upset. Donna Gayton took pictures of parents waiting outside while school officials seemed unsure where kids were supposed to go. Finally, they opened the door and they said they could start going in, but they had them against the wall. Like as soon as they walked in, there's like the fence and a wall and they had them all standing there. All the little kids looked scared. Some of them were crying. Um, a lot of parents were like upset. There was probably no way the district could win. The community was already angry over the abrupt closure of Steege after parents revealed deplorable conditions there and a glowing evaluation of the campus submitted to the state only heightened the distrust of parents. So you'd think the district would have been sensitive enough to allow parents to accompany their children into the new school on the first day. At least do it for the smaller kids where they, they would allow the parents to walk in you know, and, and show them, oh, you're going to stay here. You know, this is your new school, something. No, they were like, okay, here, drop off your kid, go. And tickets were being written for parents who lingered too long on the crowded street. District board member Othery Christian thought that was probably a bad look. No, it, it shouldn't have been no tickets or nothing like that being done. But I heard about it. I, I, I didn't see it, but I heard about it. Um, it's still a lot of kinks has to be worked out. Things has to be worked out. Uh, to make it better and to smooth out whatever is lacking. But what's really taking the parents by surprise is the timeline. So far, the move to Dijon Middle School has always been called temporary. But Gayton says she just learned what that really means. I talked to the superintendent and I asked him, I said, this is not working out. We need to like be moved from this school. And his answer to me was, we're going to be here for two and a half years. We are not moving from here. And I said, yes, we are, because a lot of the parents are not, you know, we're not agreeing on these. This is temporary. To the parents, two and a half years at the Dijon location doesn't feel temporary at all. Some are suggesting they take over Alvarado School, which is currently an adult education facility about a mile and a half from Steege. I believe they're going to drag their feet as long as they can so they can give the parents to give up. but. Fortunately, we have some strong parents here and we're not going to give up and we're going to continue to fight. It's hard to say what will happen, especially with one civil rights lawsuit already filed. But the parents who saw their school deteriorate without help from the district don't seem very willing to put their trust in it now. So the district report it filed with the state gave the Steege campus an overall positive rating of more than 92 percent. But then again, last month, the district suddenly closed the campus, citing environmental hazards.